Do you want to go back in time 10 years in Football Manager to rewrite football history, whether it's changing a team's fortunes or making that wonder kid that never quite made it reach his potential? Well, you can do that now with this database that I'm going to show you. Hello everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to another video here on the channel. Today's one is a little bit different. We'll be showing you a brilliant download created by A Russell 92 on the FM Scout website. And all you need to do is download this, put it in a certain folder, and you get a database in Football Manager that's similar to that of what you would have had 10 years prior. It goes 10 years back. It covers a lot of the leagues in world football and a lot of the players from that time also to let you guys try and rewrite football history. I'll quickly show you what to do to get it set up but if you do enjoy this database let us know by smashing the like button and tell us in the comments what's the first save you'll be doing on this database or the first player that you'll be checking out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as we push for 160,000 subscribers. So how do you set this database up? Pretty simple, really. There's going to be a link in the description to a page on the FM Scout website. I'll put download link or something in the description. When you click that, there'll be a big red button that says download now. You do that and you'll get a file that is the database name .fmf. Now, this file needs to be placed in a specific location. I'll put a description on the screen right now of which pathway you need to follow to get to the correct folder. But very simply, you navigate to your FM folders, go to the editor data section, and you put it in there. Once that's done, the database is ready to be used. Do bear in mind it will only be able to be used on a new save, not on an existing save, of course. And all you're going to do is go to start new game, and then you're going to select this drop down arrow up here. In here, you'll see the editor data files, and from here, you just want to select the database that we've just downloaded. Then go ahead to advanced setup. From there, this is where you choose your leagues and whatnot. The creator of this download mentions in the description he did most of the changes for the top five leagues so outside of that you might not see the results that you're after but if you go to say English Premier League maybe you want to add on to that the Spanish division the German division whatever it might be select the leagues that you want to load in full detail and go ahead and create that save then you're ready to go and play your next football manager save where you will have a database from 2012 to the 2013 season do bear in mind you can't change the in-game clock so it will still say 2022 but you can see here I've gone 10 10 years or so into the future as an unemployed manager just to see the kind of changes that you can expect. As you would expect, when you load up the save, you will have teams and managers from that time period. If you go to Chelsea, they'll have John Terry, they'll have SEN, they'll have Ashley Cole. Barcelona are going to have their Iniestas and Xavi's. You get the idea. Everything from that time period will be represented. But in this 10 years into the future, it's very interesting to see the way that the football world has played out. You can see from the start, Chelsea went to win the Premier League five times in a row, followed by Liverpool, Chelsea again, two Man City titles, Chelsea once more, and Manchester United. Interestingly as well, QPR in real life here, finishing in third place 10 years into the future. It doesn't line up exactly, but this is roughly where we are in the current world in terms of going 10 years on from 2012. So for example, in real life right now, Manchester United have got Eric Ten Hag at the helm. They've got players like Anthony, Sancho, Rashford, but this Manchester United team has Raphael still at right back, who's gone on to play for Man U for year after year, doing very well for them, which is nice to see, of course. You've got Jordi Alba at left back, Virgil van Dijk playing defensive midfield. He signed for £104 million from Arsenal, who bought him directly from Groningen. On their bench is a 38-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo, who returned to Manchester United the same way he did in real life, but not from Juventus. Instead, he spent years in Real Madrid doing well for a number of seasons not as well as he did in real life mind you and then ended up joining Man U for 2.5 million pounds here their manager is Spalletti he seemingly guided them to the title Manchester City have Ancelotti at their helm Aguero is still playing for them they've got the likes of Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane at the club so a really really big change of events there for Man City Chelsea have got Pep in charge their club captain is Phil Jones of all people Aspilicueta is still here and Neymar is their key player. Let's see Phil Jones. Instead of having the disappointing career that he had in real life, instead 
instead, a couple of years into this, Chelsea signed him for £33 million, I assume, as a John Terry replacement, and he has been key to Chelsea's success over the years. What a team this is, by the way. Neymar, Hazard, and Goetze as the forward line. Goetze didn't get the horrible injuries in this save by the looks of it. He lived up to the potential that we all thought he might have. On top of that, they've got Bernardo Silva in there, Fabio, Mark Bartra. Pedro did still end up making his way to Chelsea, as he did in real life. And then you come to the Champions League, where unlike real life, PSG have won the title twice. Manchester City also got their Champions League title very early on into this 10-year simulation. Manu have won it three times since. Barca, Real Madrid and AC Milan. We didn't get the free peat from Real Madrid that they got in real life. Real Madrid's side features the likes of Kyle Walker, Samuel Umtiti, Marcelo still, Joshua Kimmich, Luis Alberto, Juan Mi is their striker. Ramos is on the bench. Benzema's here too. Even Serge Aurier made his way to Real Madrid. Their manager, by the way, is Aitor Karanka, which is not one that I would have expected. The Spanish division, as you would expect, has been a mix between Barcelona and Real Madrid battling it out still over the years for the title. Messi is still one of their key players. He didn't leave in this world. And on top of that, they've got Andre Ayew playing next to him. Another one I wouldn't have expected with Paul Pogba, Goretzka, Jorginho. Plenty of cool players here. Juventus still dominated the majority of this 10-year simulation, but Napoli got in there with three titles along the way. PSG, as you would expect, won all of the French League titles. And the Bundesliga Liga is actually quite interesting because Bayern have won it the majority of times as you would expect. But surprisingly it's Hamburger who have won the title very recently and I believe in real life they're currently in the second division of Germany so that's an interesting change. World Cups have gone to Denmark and Spain. Denmark of course being the surprising winner there. Not quite a World Cup for England but they did win the European Championships. Italy also. Spain have recently beat Serbia too to the title and it's been a great golden generation for them. The Ballon d'Or wasn't just Ronaldo and Messi this time round. Instead, Ronaldo did win one with Messi coming in second and Rooney being in third. We then had Carlos Tevez of Manchester City winning the Ballon d'Or, then Messi, then Ronaldo, then Thiago of all people. Then Javier Pastore went on to win the Ballon d'Or. I wouldn't have expected that one. Luis Suarez, Rodrigo, who currently plays for Leeds in real life, won a Ballon d'Or, as did Mane and now Neymar at Chelsea. One of the biggest talents of that time, Jack Wilshere, didn't have the injury-ridden career that he had in real life. Instead, he went on to be a consistent player for Arsenal over the years. And whilst they didn't win anything with him there, he was definitely a big player for them. Tottenham broke their trophy streak by winning the Capital One Cup, which is the League Cup at this time. They won three FA Cups and the Europa League over the last few years. Forgot to look at Liverpool earlier, but they have Unai Emre as their manager, with Ryan Shawcross as their captain, and Luis Suarez is still here kicking about at Liverpool. I can see they've got Riyad Mahrez, but also very interestingly, Manchester United got Van Dijk. Liverpool in this world ended up with Harry Maguire. He did end up going on to sign for Leicester City, as we all know, and then he made a move to Liverpool, where it looks like he's just a little bit of a bench warmer at this point. But this database is super fun to use, super easy to set up, and you can go ahead and rewrite history. Can can you recreate Leicester City's success? Can you guide England's golden generation to the World Cup? Whatever you want to try, the world is your oyster with this database. So go check it out. Remember, it will be linked down below. There's written instructions on how to use it on there also. But hopefully how I explained it at the start of the video will help. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. But most of all, enjoy the database and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.